I've condensed my years of experience in analytics and Power BI into five tips that I believe will provide a bunch of value to anyone looking to create professional and effective reports. So let's not delay. So tip one is design quick wins. And this first tip will make your dashboard go from this to this. All right, so let's start by taking a look at this dashboard. And there are a few common mistakes I already see here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add some borders to each of these. And I can do this by formatting each visual, uh, going into general effects, visual border, and then just apply to all. And this will allow me to get some good separation and a good look at the positioning of each tile. Okay, we can see here the alignment of these are an issue. And I see this mistake a lot in new dashboards. And it's important to make sure the spacing of the tiles are the same throughout the report. So Power BI has an inbuilt snap to grid function, which you can access from the view tab. And you can usually tweak them a little bit to get them right, which is what I'm doing now. The other quick win is if you look at your phone's apps or even the keys on your phone's keyboard, they all have rounded corners now. And there's good reason for this. It creates a sense of softness and approachability that draws your attention and is more modern. Uh, and this is a small detail that can make a big difference. So let's round these corners out. You can access this in the effects dropdown under visual border. Let's make it 15 pixels and then we just apply to all of them. So as we go through each of the visuals, let's start thinking about the background color to apply to this. To change the canvas background color, click on the format button, select the drop down canvas background. We'll choose a nice dark blue color uh, and then we'll drop the transparency to zero so we can actually see it. Now we're gonna go through each of the visuals and remove their backgrounds. So the next thing we'll do is add a contrasting color. So let's go with a cream white and we'll add this to every single element of the visuals, including the values, titles, columns, y and x axes. And then we snap our fingers and apply to all. Next, let's add some shadows. It can sometimes take some trial and error. I actually think the centered shadow looks quite good with this color. Uh, and this can add some depth, contrast and realism to your report. So as you can see, by addressing some borders, nailing the alignment, putting in some shadows and adding a little bit of color, it's made a huge difference. Tip two is custom tooltips. So whenever you hover over any of your visuals in Power BI, you get this default tooltip text. But did you know that you can customize it and show additional fields? You see how when we hover over each category, we get the total sales amount. Say we wanted to see the average sale amount for each order by category. Sure, we can drop that measure under tooltips, which works fine, but it doesn't look that special. But what if we wanted to see all the types of bikes that are selling well and list the top five by sales amount? For this, we need a custom tooltip. To add this, we simply add a new page. Let's call it top five sales subcategories. Then under page information, we make this a tooltip. Uh, we can can click fit to page down the bottom here to zoom in a little bit. Let's insert a text box, uh, we'll make it center and then we'll bold the text. Let's insert a table. We'll drag and drop subcategory in and then total sales amount. Filter subcategory by top N and we will enter in five, then click apply filter. We can also sort this and let's go back to the page before and we'll add this as a tooltip. Now, as you see, when we hover over, we can see that custom tooltip we created. We can see our top five subcategories for each. Uh, next step would obviously be to, to match the theme, but let's not do that now. Tip three is page navigation, which is kind of like creating an automatic page index. And this is really useful when you have multiple pages in your dashboard and you wanna provide an easy way for your viewers to navigate through them. So let me show you how. First, let's make some room for them on the page. We'll go insert, then click the buttons option. At the bottom of the list, select page navigator from this, and this will automatically add buttons for all the pages in your dashboard. You can customize this by going to the pages option so you can show or hide hidden pages as well as the tooltip pages. You can also change the shape of the buttons as you like. The default is rectangle, but you can choose other shapes here. Let's make it a pill shape. One thing to note is that if you're using Power BI Desktop, you'll need to hold down the control key when you select each of these buttons to, to jump to a page. But on the web, you can just click it. 
Tip four is dedicated measures table. So if you've got a ton of measures in your Power BI report and you're struggling to keep track of them all, don't worry. I've got a tip for you that's going to help you stay organized and sane. First things first, you're going to want to create a dummy table. So just click on enter data and give your table a name. I like to call mine measures. Uh, click load. So next you want to select all the measures that you want to move over to your new table. So head over to measures tools and change the home table to your measures table. Then right click on the original column and select hide from report to remove it. And voila, now you've got a dedicated measures table that you can use to keep all your measures organized and easy to find. One bonus tip is that if you don't want to do this manually for each one, you can actually do this in bulk by going to the relationships tab, right click on the sales table and choose select measures. From there, you can change the home table to your measures table and your, your measures will automatically shift over. Tip five is prompting AI for dashboard development. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the amazing capabilities of AI. And guess what? In the world of Power BI, you can use AI tools to enhance your dashboards with just a few clicks. By taking advantage of these tools, you can save time and energy by easily identifying areas for improvement, discovering hidden insights, getting assistance with visuals, DAX formulas, calculated columns, and overall dashboard concepts. If you're interested in learning more about how to use AI to improve your Power BI dashboards, I highly recommend checking out the video I've linked above. Uh, I provide a detailed workflow and go in depth on the process, but here's a quick rundown. So what you have to do is provide ChatGPT with your data structure, including tables, columns, and data relationships. Once you've got your data structure set up, you can start using some of my favorite prompts to help improve your dashboard. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to review your data set and give concepts for a dashboard. You can ask it to pretend to be a sales executive or other important stakeholders, or you can ask it for DAX measures and calculated columns, as well as some of the best visuals to use for each measure. You see how it's giving us DAX formulas that we can use. So let's provide GPT with four of those DAX formulas. Total sales amount, average sales amount per order, total unit sold and average unit sold per order. And then we can ask it to come up with some visualizations that we can use in our report. Now, I should mention that this isn't perfect science and you're likely to encounter some trial and error along the way. But when you do run into issues, you can give them to ChatGPT and most of the time it'll sort it out for you. And if you're not sure about the best design colors to use, you can also use ChatGPT to help you with that one too. All right, everyone, those are my five top tips for Power BI. Please let me know what you found most useful in the comment box down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give her a thumbs up and consider subscribing below. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you.